how many of you knew that piecewise functions were kind of difficult? So my question is, why didn't you spend a large chunk of time studying piecewise functions? You did not. That's a, that's a giant mountain of a lie. That you did not spend a, a, a large chunk of time studying piecewise functions. Yeah, you spent some time. You're in Algebra 2. <laughs> So why didn't you study better in general? Because you made a mistake. I answered that last class, and since I answered that cla last class and I remember doing it, you can go check out the video. <laughs> it's, it's towards the end, so you can scrub away. You might even see your face. I think y'all got up and like cameoed in the last video, so, you know. <laughs> look at that evil, evil look. Nathan, as soon as I write down this problem, I'll hand you your test. <laughs> Where's my marker? There it is. All right, so we're supposed to graph f of x equals all this stuff, negative one-half x minus one if x is less than or equal to negative 2, and it is negative 6 if x is between negative 2. Are you going to put one of these on the midterm? That's entirely possible. Uh, and 1, negative x plus 4 if we are doing midterms and finals the same way it did last year. Uh, which means there's still two-day tests, so there's Are plenty there of. Are going to be any proofs on the midterm? <laughs> <laughs> Not for y'all. Good. <laughs> X is greater than or equal to one. I would rather have a proof than piecewise functions. Uh, uh, piecewise functions. functions. Piecewise functions are not actually very hard. Um, no, I didn't. I really didn't. You, you just, you just got to slow down and make sure you understand the pieces. And that's worth saying for like math in general. Um, when you're taking notes, it's not good enough to just write down what I say on the screen. That's not really good enough. That's, that's not going to actually help you get better at math. You're wasting your time. And some of these videos are, are long. So don't waste your time. You have to slow down enough to be able to decide, okay, do I understand this part? Do I know what's happening? Because if you understand the pieces, then you can, then you can puzzle it all together. You don't have to understand problems as a whole, you just have to understand the individual pieces, which is, you know, this is like prime example of understanding the pieces, right? Because we've got to understand all the different pieces. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's punny and true all at the same time. Okay. Why did you get minus 15 and I got minus 16, but we both got the whole thing incorrect? Uh, you have it all shoved in one. Yeah, so yours is more wrong than hers. She, she, at least on paper, now who knows what's in your heads, but at least on paper, she understood it slightly better than you, but if, if only barely. <laughs> now, that may not be true in your heads, but on paper, that's what was evidenced. So, let's, let's, let's take a step back and explain even more words. Let's, let's put this IRL slightly. That means in real life. It does. <laughs> I'm, I'm an elder millennial, and so sometimes I speak in acronyms, because that's what we do. 
<laughs> you do it to make us cringe and fear. No. We're old I d really just do it because that's what I do. But then it's also, I, I delight in making you cringe as well. That's also quite fun. Okay. So let's talk about what a piecewise is, IRL. Okay. Piecewise function is any function is any function is a, a situation where we have an independent and a dependent variable. That's that's what a function is. And well, that's what a relation is. A function specifically is where for every independent variable, there's only one dependent variable, right? That's, it only points to one thing, right? That's what a function is specifically. So a function is as time changes, temperature goes up if you're boiling water, right? That's, that's what, and it doesn't even go like that. It goes like this. So the, if you believe, if you are, are, if you believe that if you have freezing water, that it boils faster, I'm sorry to tell you, you're wrong. <laughs> that's not how that relationship works. Actually, it isn't linear. It is, it is, psh. I was right to begin with. It's psh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except it's like, more like psh. Is actually. Your acronyms? Psh. No. That's not that. That's a sound effect. That's a word. Okay. So a piecewise function says during, when, when our independent variable, when time is this, then it, it does, then this thing behaves this way. And then when we, we hit this threshold, something different happens, right? It, it changes some other way, and then maybe another threshold, something else happens. I see a lot of people making corrections and not listening. That's not helpful. And unless you made 100 on the piecewise function, you should probably be listening. Do what? Okay, so you already figured out your problem. Well, there you go. Look at you. Okay, so that's what it is. So we need to figure out where the thresholds are. That's what these if parts are. So if the independent variable x is less than two, so over here, then this is the way, this is the way it behaves. This is the way y behaves. If it's between these, then it behaves this way. If it's between these, it behaves that way. Right? Now, so that's what a piecewise function is. Now here's the next thing. Are you ready? Yeah. How about now? Good enough. Okay, so that's what it is. So it changes as we're moving this way, not all in one little chunk. <laughs> now, probably the part that you were thinking about is actually related to what I'm about to say, right? So when you are graphing these, you graph it as if there were no chunks. Like if I was to graph this, this first, this first one, chunks is kind of an awful word. Anyway, sections, sections is much better, I agree. So if I was to graph this first line, I would go down one, I would go down one, I'd put a dot, and then I would go down one over two, down one over two. And then I would put this whole line on here and I would and I would graph it. And that would and that would be what this would look like, right? Where'd you get the other But what? What? Okay. Good. Y'all answered answered whatever y'all were fighting about. Okay. So that's what this would look like. But this function. But this says that it's not, it, we don't define it this way always. We only define it this way when it's over here. So we're not gonna graph any of this chunk, right? And so what I like to do first on these problems, which many of you did this because you asked about it and I said to do it, and so you did at least this one thing right, right? Unless you weren't listening and then, you know, whatever. Right? Oh, well, you know, there it is. Pay attention to when tests are next time. <laughs> I think the next test is on a Thursday. Uh, this Thursday? All of them. No, have on, on a Thursday. Thursday. Uh, they're always on Thursday. They're not always on Thursday. So, just, on Thursday. So, far, so, far. so far they have been, but they are not. That is not a hard and fast rule. I'm not Mr. Norman. No, I actually prefer tests on Tuesdays. I used to prefer them on Thursdays back when I was taking home everybody's notebook, but now that I've been able to ditch that practice, I like it better on Tuesdays because then you have more time to study. So I like to split these chunks up. Now, 
Well, it's actually open or closed circle, not not dotted. It's lot. It's dotted. It's no. lying. Looks like it's dotted. Are you talking about these orange things that I'm drawing right now? Those are just the thresholds. These are the thresholds. That's a, also a great choice of word. The threshold into the next section. Wait, which section is this? Okay. Well, there's three of them. So, <laughs> so it's three sections. Okay. So, negative two is when it changes. So, less than negative two, our graph is doing one thing. It's following this rule. So, what we need to do, what we need to find Normally when we graph a line, y'all been doing this for a long time, and so normally when you graph a line, the first dot you put on is the y-intercept. However, there's no y-axis here. So I don't need the y-intercept, I need the negative two intercept. Can't we just go onto there and then graph it and then erase the in-between? You could, but you need to know what that number is, because you need because that circle has to be in the right spot. Okay. And you need to show, you know, your work and stuff. So I need to know the negative two intercept. So what, so how can I find the negative two intercept? X. Yeah, well, negative two, right? So I can put a negative two in here. It would work. What's negative one half times negative two? That's negative one. Negative two halves is negative one. And it would be positive. Yeah, y'all are also wrong there. Okay, great. Because negative times, oh, did you? Nice, good job. So this is one. And then minus one is what? I don't know why you're the, because everybody's enjoying the entertainment along with the math. Y'all are doing great. You should go on tour. <laughs> We're judging math teachers. <laughs> you know, for class. <laughs> so, what did we just figure out? Zero. Yeah, so this means we have a dot right there. Now we can count the slope. Going this way. Now, we're going backwards. We kind of got to do both things backwards. So instead of, going, instead of going down one to the right two, we'd go up one, back two, right? So up one, back two. And we can also go uh, down one to the right two as well, right? Because yes, yeah, but, but we can't do that because this definition doesn't exist over here. Normally you can. Normally, normally that is a thing that you can do. And it's lying straight, not little circle one, because that side of one. It's a closed circle. Yes. I think that yes, the answer is yes to whatever you're trying to say, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now this definition is just a constant function. What is the slope of this line? If I was just grabbing y equals negative, at, negative six, what does that look like? Dot? No, it doesn't look like a dot. Negative six over one. No, it doesn't. No, the slope is not negative six over one. That is false. The slope is not one over one. That would be y equals x minus six. I didn't ask what it looks like. I asked what is the slope of it. Zero. It doesn't have any slope. It's just a straight line. So in this chunk, I have to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have open circles here and there. I think I got it pretty correct. I graphed them right. I just graphed them all in the middle. Yeah, you didn't understand like the pieces of a piecewise function, but you, but yeah, it looks like you like <laughs> you graphed like you know how to graph a straight line. Good job. I'm glad you, you know that it, by Algebra 2. That's good. That's very important. Believe it or not, sometimes in Algebra 2, I have students that still can't graph a line for whatever reason. But that's a, that's a, no, <laughs> no. I mean, sometimes we just make mistakes and whatever. But that's different. That's different than like not knowing how. She didn't know how to graph a straight line. Okay. Live. And then this last definition, we also don't have the y-intercept, so we need to figure out what the one-intercept of this chunk is. So how do we do that? It would be 
It is going to be 3 because we put a negative 1 right here. I mean a 1 right there. So negative and then 1 plus 4. So it'd be 3. So the 1 intercept is at 3. So we go up 1, 2, 3, and we put a dot. Now what's the slope of that line? Of that part of that line? Negative one, so we're gonna go down one over one. And we're going to draw that line, right? And it looks like that. Does this make sense? Yeah, they're solid because of No, that's that that just means oh solid dots, you mean? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, not, not like dot, solid lines, but solid dots. Yes, yes, I follow you. You are accurate. Yes, ma'am? Yes, yes, yes. So if this continued, if this continued, it would hit negative one. But it doesn't. So if this continued, it would cross at negative one. But it doesn't go that far. It stops right there. That makes sense? If what we are graphing, if the section that we're graphing in does not contain the y-axis. Yeah. All right, what other questions, kiddos? Number four. Number four from the test. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Uh, maybe. Yes. Well, technically, I also did the math wrong, but I got the most right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what, what number did you say? Number uh, four. Oh, yeah, this one's easy, but if you're not thinking about how to do it, then you get twisted up. Okay, so we're supposed to find the x and y intercept for 8x minus 7y equals negative 56. Um, we're going to go back to concept on this one as well. Because this, see, and I, I'm doing this and I'm slowing down on some of these things and making sure we understand the concept because I'm, because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, all you ones, that if you will stop and understand the concept, then the math will just happen on like lots of stuff. There's very few things in math where you just have to memorize it. Like if you stop and understand what is happening, then you can do the math, right? Because this, this is easy, but here's, here's the deal. So the x-intercept, so that will be where whatever this looks like crosses the x-axis. So here's my question for y'all. You paying close attention? All along the x-axis, what does y equal? Zero. So all along the x-axis, so what we want, what we really want to know is we want to know where this, where x is, <coughs> excuse me, where y is, no, what am I saying? Yeah, where, <laughs> where x is when y is zero, right? For the x-intercept. So all we have to do is put a zero right there. And then we solve for x. It's negative 7, ultimately. But now, all along the y-axis, what is x equal to? 0. So what, for the y-intercept, that's, that's what we're asking for. We're asking, what is y when x is 0? So to find the y-intercept, all we have to do 
is put a zero in for, in for x. And then you just math it out. Um, and this, and here's, here's the deal. When we, when we flip a few pages and we go to quadratics and we're asked to find the x-intercepts, plural possibly, then it's the same thing. Put a zero in for y and solve for x. And the y-intercept is the same thing. Put a zero in for x and solve for y. Okay, so this is, this is easy money, right? We're just going to divide by 8 and we end up with x equals negative 7. And then we're going to divide by negative 7 and end up with y equals positive 8. Right? Does that make sense? 4 from the test. I bet we can take one more from the test if we need to. Any other, any other test questions? No? Okay. Let's start looking at homework. Oh, no. oh my gosh, Malcolm. Just learn to draw or something. You'll be fine. Yes? Wait, you say learn to draw? Yeah, or something. I don't know. Find, find something, something you can do. Uh, because you didn't do that. You didn't identify it. Oh. Well, these two are still wrong because the X's and the Y's wouldn't be there. Ignore them. <laughs> Just ignore them. Uh, yeah, and we can do, see if that gives you any more points back. Let's see if Google will do it. What is that, 101? Hey Google, what's 101 divided by 131? My pleasure. Great, thanks. <laughs> Does that change your grade? It does. Give you a point. If you remind me at the end of the class, I'll give you the point. <laughs> okay. All right. What was I doing? Oh, reading answers. What did we do? Less problems, I think, right? Two through 18. Two through 18, yeah. Too many problems. It was terrible. Yes. I'm having oh. nightmares. Okay. All right, number two, negative two, two, negative five. Number four, three, negative four, eight. Three, negative four, eight. <laughs> Six is negative eight, four, negative four. Eight <coughs> is eight, negative three, two. Ten, no solution. Twelve, negative one, three, seven. 14, negative 8, negative 7, negative 5. 16 is 6, 3, negative 4. 8a would be x plus y plus z equals 24. 3x plus 2y plus z equals 53. And x equals y plus z. And 18b is invisible. There it is. 7 swimmers place third. 5 swimmers place second. And 12 sli swimmers, slimmers, swimmers placed first. And 18C is the statement is false because when you solve for se <laughs> when you solve for second place, you get a negative as an answer, and you cannot have a negative person. Although this class would prove that statement incorrect because there are plenty of negative people. <laughs> Six. No, my line is because math. Yeah. What's my line? I, I, have, I have stolen your line like this whole semester, though. What's your line? Math. Because in Algebra 1, every time he asked what we were doing, that was a big math. Yep. Oh, nice. She would gleefully say math. It's a better word. Gleefully. It's like, I know this is really obnoxious and annoying, and I'm still doing it anyway. Exactly. <laughs> I wasn't gleeful. No. 
<laughs> you were definitely gleeful about what you were saying. Sorry, which one are we doing? Six. Number six. Well, Bonnie, you recorded every class last year. Yeah, but you would have done exactly like you've done this year and been like, well, yeah, I'm going to go watch that video and then never watch it. No, no, it. I do watch it. Oh, do you? <laughs> I don't watch the whole thing. I zoom forward to the spots where I'm I see. <laughs> you, you, you go, go, to, to, go to your cameos. Mm -hmm. All right, chitlins. Chitlins? What should we do? I think we should do four, and we should not by positive four, but by negative four, right? On the first and the second one here. Well, just the first. Yeah, well, the first one, but we're doing we're, yeah, first. yeah. I, I agree. I think that does make sense. The, the third, no, the no, second the and the third. third. Do you have to do that? No, ever? I would do the first and the third. You're allowed to do that? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you were allowed what? to do that. Why could you not? Like, if I just like write these backwards, then it's because then it's now the first and second. Video. Do you do video the... didn't explain, so we did a video set. No, no, you didn't. No, you did exactly what I am encouraging you today to not to do. You didn't stop to understand why and what was happening. Just you were just following. Was. You were just following steps. Don't follow. Don't just follow steps. Stop to under. Stop to understand. Stop to understand. I had to do the steps. And then when I was in the problem, I was like, okay, let me do the first and the third. I was like, wait, can I do that? No, I can't. I know. So then I did the second and third and was lost. Well, okay. I was a lost human. Well, it wouldn't make you lost. It would just, you'd have to multiply more crap. Yeah, you'd have to so be a, a giant, a giant or pain. We do have to eliminate. When you're eliminationing, are you adding or subtracting? Adding. Okay. Always. And some some teachers will teach like it both ways. In fact, in one of the, is it in the Algebra One book? I think it is in the Algebra One book. I do not do that. That's stupid. Don't do it both ways because especially then when we get to synthetic division and whatever, where we're not like, just do it one way. Why are you doing both? Stupid. Yeah, always adding. I think I originally learned it with subtraction. Yeah, I think we've talked about this with you before, actually. Yeah. Okay, so now, what are we going to do? Yes. The first and third. Yeah. Do the first and third. Whoa. We're going to multiply that times. 33. Positive 3. Wait. Yippee. For what? Okay, I got it. You sure? I think so. Yeah, it's because we're so making we making these opposites, we right? We did the first and second, and then we did the first and third. Yep. Well, we didn't, but we're going to. <laughs> okay. That is accurate. Okay, so we've got negative 15x plus 3y minus 12z no. equals 180. That's how your Alexa says it. That's funny. Your Alexa is Canadian. <laughs> it's several several countries say Z and, and H. 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 Negative nine X. Minus 14z equals positive 128. Yep. Now we're going to do something with these two. This one is so, so close to being able to be reduced, but oh well. 2x plus 19z equals negative 252. No. Mistaken, not dumb. Those are different words. 
We got to we got to improve your self talk. That is our goal this year. That is that is your new life goal is to improve your self talk. Uh, that's a little annoying, but it's fine. Craver's rule is so much better than this nonsense, but we'll we'll keep going. Okay. Yeah, why don't we just start now with that? Now we have to make one of them equal to the other one. How do you do that? I don't know. Because I uh, can't do that. You gotta multiply them together. Well, you have to multiply both of them. Yep. No, nope, no, nope. we're gonna turn 14 into 19. Yeah, this is the part where it's so having more. Rock. Is that 22? Okay, I was like, four four why do you have two question marks? I just don't know. My, sometimes my question marks do look like a two with a dot underneath it, so I, I can understand that. All right, what's nine times 22? Yeah. There might be something smaller, but I'm not going to take the time to figure it out. 198x. And then nine times nineteen would be ninety plus. Wouldn't that be negative? Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. My brain mixed them up into the top. Okay. Fourteen. Be ninety plus eighty-one, so one hundred and seventy-one. Is that is that? Y'all agree? Y'all agree with my brain? <laughs> and then nine times two hundred and fifty-two is what? Negative 2,268. This one we know is going to be negative 198. I hope so. And this one's going to be negative something. Uh, 308. I knew the first one was a 3 and the last one was an 8. I didn't know what was in between yet. And then 22 times 128. 2,816. Now we eliminate. Yeah. 171 minus 308 is what? No, 100 something. Negative 137. And then that one. Positive something. Did you say a thousand something? Five, These two, the two, the two, two. Five hundred forty-eight. No, definitely not. That doesn't make any sense. Look, two thousand minus two thousand is no. It's less than a thousand. Oh, I thought it was four hundred fifty-two. Five. What did you say? Five hundred and fifty-two. Forty-eight. And then we divide that off. We get negative something. Thanks. Now what do we do? We have to put Z into somewhere else in another we'll Go place. shove it up in there. Yeah, and then we... Put it, is there a specific one you have to plug that one into? It would have to be one of these. Because that's our... Yeah, because we don't have enough information and yet the, for the... The original one. No. Or, you could put it into one of these and you'll get a mess. But let's put it into something that's a little easier. So you put it in there. And then you put those two in over here somewhere. And then we finish. All right. What other questions? 14? Yes, ma'am? Oh, if you do one and three, what do you do for the second one? Yes. What do you mean? I have one and three. We did, we did one and two here. Yes, oh. And then one and three here. We can. We did. We did it here. This is one and three, and this is one and two. Then you'd have to do either two and three or one and three as your next ones. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's exactly right. Did you actually think that was a guy? At first, please show me. Apologies. Okay. Yeah. One of my, if you didn't know, probably many of you do know, but I'm, I'm the youth minister here at this, this church that we are standing in right now. And one of my youth girls goes to Talkington. Actually, Three of them did well. One of them graduated, and she—they were off for Columbus Day yesterday, and so she was working on her math, and so she was texting me, "What? How do I do? Am I doing this right?" And so yeah, and so I was helping her with her math problem, and they are teaching them how to find inverses of matrices 
using row operations, which seems really stupid. When I was learning, I don't like, I showed, I showed her this whole page, like this, this whole three fourths of a page to do it the way that she had to do it. And then up in the fourth of a page said, this is how I teach it right here. <laughs> yeah. So that's like a precursor to box method factoring, which I also don't teach. Although one time I did in public school because I had like two or three students that could not do it with guess and check. They like just, there was just like, it was, there was like a mental thing, whatever else. And box method is pretty straightforward, like step by step. It's longer and it's dumber and it, it doesn't, it doesn't lead well to like the future where you can just look at it and be like, okay, here's the answer. Or, well, and, so I don't know why she teaches well, it's because she teaches factoring with box method. I'll guarantee you that's because it's because she sh she's showing it backwards. She's showing this way and going from this one to this one and this one to that one. Yeah, that's why. Uh, 14. It takes about the same, except you have to draw the box on as far as foil is concerned. Oh, don't worry. We're about to be in the, in the lots and lots of space. Well, we kind of basically are, but. Are we going to have problems if you got more space in there? Depends on how large you draw your matrices. Oh, we're going to have to do, do more matrices. matrices. I like them, so they're easy. We are. Well, are they gonna get we're doing what have you done with matrices? We We've added, added them. Added them and multiplied down the scalar. You're going to learn how to multiply a matrix times a matrix, and you're going to learn how to find the determinant. Yeah, it's tedious. It's not hard. It's just tedious. You're dumb. <laughs> no, you're not. Wait a minute. That's not. That doesn't meet the objective. We're supposed to be improving your self-talk. I can't even be. I can't even be joking about about you being dumb. I don't think you're dumb, but I can't even tell the joke now. <laughs> Check and mate. <laughs> don't worry. There's plenty of other things I can make fun of you about. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that's Bree. Hello. They're on the shelf that's like at the back of the basement. They're white and they have like handwritten geometry, algebra one, algebra two on them. Okay. All right. See you here in just a bit. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I, I find, I find uh, for the most part, taking student questions on this particular homework set, it's kind of funny because it's generally not because they didn't understand what to do because, but because they want to figure out where their mistake was. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the real, real deal. I just forget like a subtraction sign or write a number down wrong. And yeah, I do that like four times yesterday. Yeah. I just forget like the subtraction Oh yeah. It almost doesn't matter. I think I don't want to do the A's because of the nine. But other than that, I mean, whatever. Like, it's C's. Okay, let's do C's. Okay, five times negative nine is negative forty-five A. Um, on the test for this unit, I, I think I said at least some of these words the other day, but you know, y'all don't listen, so I'll say it again. Uh, what is that? Three hundred and five. Is that right? Correct. Um, on the test on this unit. 
you will probably have one three by three system and it will not specify a method. I recommend Kramer's rule because then you can get part of it right and not end up with stupid fractions and dumb stuff if you make a mistake. We are going to learn Kramer's rule, but you have to learn some things about matrices first. Because you're learning at this unit. Yay. That is, there, there, are several, there are several things that make this particular test hard. One is it has big problems in it. And two is there are a lot of lessons in it. Yes, sir. Would you say this test will be harder than this? I don't know quite how to answer that question. Well, because questions from this test will be on the midterm. Yeah, and we'll have some of those, but then we'll also have a bunch of other junk. Who knows? Maybe stuff just gets harder from here. Negative. I think you're right. 276. Yeah. And then we're going to eliminate. Negative. Plus 29B it's all 29. 29. <laughs> wow. You know what's nice about that is we can go, we can do this. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. What? Oh. Negative A. Isn't that negative A? Did we just eliminate two different variables? Yes. No. The variables are right there. Oh, we just eliminated the 29. I just reduced by 29. <laughs> I don't know why y'all are looking mad at me. I didn't make you not think about that. It's not my fault. <laughs> y'all knew you could do that. All right, now, now what are we going to do? You explain it in the video. Okay. That was not, this is old stuff. <laughs> So one and three. I didn't know I could do that. Basically, that's what this class was. I didn't know I could have that. So this this class today, you know, last video, Nathan's comment on the YouTube was whatever he said, whatever he said that I should put the title as. Students bully teachers, teacher cries, or whatever it said, whatever it was. But but this this lesson needs to be the opposite now. Teacher destroys student. Student weeps. Teacher Yeah, 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 yeah. And still, no more views, even with that spicy comment. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I'm multiplying this times five again. Oh no, eight. Right. Four. Four. Oh, you're right. You're y'all are right. Look at that. Where are we doing math? Oh, yeah. okay. All right, yeah. We <laughs> That's not strictly speaking necessary, however. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> student sneezes. Second student has heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeds to die. <laughs> oh, no. Right. <laughs> oh no. People, people will watch it and be like, "This is just a math video." Fuss. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, Do not read the title. It's obviously not. Clickbait now. Yep. Clickbait now. It's not even edited. Negative thirty-one a plus. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever that is, seven B equals positive something. Hundred and no. Nine. Stop Eight, lies. Nine, nine, nine. Nope. Seventy nine. Right. Yeah. Seventy four. Seventy nine. Right. <laughs> Don't make me pull out my calculator because I'll throw it at your face. All right, now we're going to do those. The teacher abuses students, throws calculator in anger. Gets away with it. <laughs> uh, it's never reported. Hi, 
principal cries. <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna get rid of the B. Student job. I'd rather multiply by negative seven than negative thirty-one. I don't like the A. What did the A ever do to you? Dumb. Stupid. Why is it stupid? I don't like the use because sometimes they look like six. Uh, so this would be what negative twenty-four A. Negative thirty-one plus seven. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing this one. Yes, 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 I understand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 79 minus 7 will be 72. Divide by negative 24, and what do we get? How many times can 24 be What'd you say? I was asking about the 79. Hold on, let's get What? Negative 3, I think I messed up. 124 minus, okay, so since you're questioning it, I'm going to steal your calculator. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sanity check y'all's brains. <laughs> it is seventy nine. This one seventy nine. What do we get? A equals what? Like. And then we get 3 plus B equals 1, B equals negative 2. And then we go all the other stuff. And then we do negative 15 plus 10 plus 8C equals negative 45, et cetera. Et cetera. Delightful. Simply delicious. 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 Any other questions? Did you say it's raining tacos? What did you say? Oh yeah, we do have we have, do have two. Oh yeah, operations with ma with matrices. That's easy money. What numbers did we do on this one? Oh yeah. I didn't think that was in chapter zero. I was really confused when y'all were talking about that earlier. I was like, when did you learn about that? Oh, this time. I get it. I understand. So, two through what? 14 and 15. Oh, yeah. Because the answer to 15 is impossible. It's impossible. That's why 15 was assigned. Great. Okay, so let's just shove this up on the screen. It's going to be easier. It's just in a phase. Hello, machine. Oh, wait. Mm, yeah, competition. What was the name? We have to graph. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Probably won't show up. No, you don't have to graph. They're just like big old matrices. It's going to be quicker to show you than to read it all. Well, you, you have to put them in the brackets because straight lines means determinant. So make sure you use the brackets. Have you seen the doodles on my pages? Look at that. Look at that. Have you seen this? I was taking notes. You ruined my notes. No. Um, no. Leave my notes alone. Are we going to watch the channel? No, because the Apple TV is plugged in. We should watch like. Don't go here. Wait, what should I do? Oh, there's Tuesday night football. But it's not Tuesday night. Tuesday. Nobody cares. This is very true. Nobody uh, cares. Nobody cares about professional football. It's very much not true. Mm, yeah, it's very true. Nobody cares. You have never met my dad. Like I said, nobody cares. <laughs> wow. You you made you made me make fun of your father. I don't I don't like that, Landon. And yes, I have. And me as well. I think I think I have have once. I think. I think I met your dad once, didn't I? Uh, probably. You basically made fun of my entire family. No, no, I didn't want to. Alright. There's two, four, six, eight, no, no. and ten. He needs to make fun of Austin. Oops. Oops.
I don't under, I don't honestly understand why people care about professional. Oh, I should turn the camera while I'm making this rant. Uh, I don't. I honestly don't quite understand why people care about professional football anymore. Like college, sure, but like, why does anybody care about pro football anymore? Pro pro football has gone in the dumps for like a long time. Pro football is has gotten really stupid. I mean, just look just look at the refs and the and the Chiefs. I mean, like. The refs are all are, all uh, let's see. What others did we do? What what have we not seen on here? Two through fourteen. Yeah, so we need twelve and fourteen. Twelve A test one is a three by one matrix eighty five. Let's see, let's just put it up there. Why not? It's already up there. Bunch of crybabies. <laughs> yeah, it would. No. I wrote Not 12, 12, 10, wrong numbers. Yeah, I knew what you I meant. I was following what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> there's 12A, Yay. and there's 12B, and there's 12C. 